on Amazon Prime, Pignorant. Hello. Are you Jimmy Carbstrong? Yeah. Who Hi. are you? Oh my God, my name's Kate. Nice to meet you. Hello, Kate. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Oh my God, I just thought I'd say hello. Hello. Are you a vegan? No. Are you watch like my that, sense? So. No, I'm not. I used to be. Oh, I know no. you're going to say, oh, we were plant based. I used to be, and actually it's been on my mind a lot recently. Tell me what, how, how you feel about not being vegan. Um, it's just one of the things where I'm like, I know I should be. Why? Why should you be? I, I know every argument in the book. I know that there's not a single thing that anyone can say to rationalise the opposite. So why aren't you vegan? Good question. Tell me. Um, I'm not going to attack you. <laughs> no, I know. Um, I think it was my fault in that like I don't think I was like doing it right and so I started to like not feel very well no iron and that kind of thing which I take one and said that's my responsibility I know that that's not the yeah, no, yeah, yeah but so you, you got your blood tested after you went vegan and you had low iron levels I had low ferritin levels okay. so my stores were low and how did you rectify that with red meat no I started eating fish again the fish and eggs the classic but where's there iron in fish I don't know in fish and eggs they're not very iron rich foods no. <laughs> so it doesn't really make much sense, does it? So I thought we'd take a quick break from the video in case anyone else is curious about iron in animal versus vegan foods here. So in 100 grams of cooked tuna, there's 1.5 milligrams of iron. 100 grams of cooked eggs contains about 1.2 milligrams. Then we have cooked beef sirloin, which only has about 1.9 milligrams of iron. But when you look at vegan sources, 100 grams of extra firm tofu cooked has 2.7 milligrams of iron. And 100 grams of cooked lentils contains a whopping 3.3 milligrams of iron. But 100 grams of cooked spinach beats them all at 3.7 six milligrams of iron. So please choose plant sources of iron, leave the animals alone, and we'll get back to the video. Maybe it was just a mental thing, I don't know. Could be. Could be, or it could be that you weren't eating enough, or it could be you just yeah. thought it one day. Because yeah. what can happen is that people can become disconnected and just be like, you know what I mean? Fish and eggs tells me you don't want to eat these animals. No. So you've chosen like an egg which is disconnected from the animal and a sea animal which hard to empathise with, harder to empathise with. Yeah. I don't have to say anything yeah. to you. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm not going to say, they torture fish, they to torture say. the animal. You know that, so yeah, you're exactly. subsidising it. You're donating to yeah. animal torturers and killers. And you're such a pleasant, such a pleasant woman. <laughs> Seem like something that's consistent with It's been on my mind a lot recently, and I think like seeing you here is maybe like my sign. Yeah, it is. Well, I don't have to say anything. I don't try. No. Like, I don't think I need to, because you know yourself. I know who you are. I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. I know all the stuff. I've you seen know what I'd do if I had low iron? I had low vitamin D actually uh, recently. And you, do you know what I did? Started eating cheese. No, I didn't. I went and got a vitamin D supplement. Yeah. Because I'm in England, which is a cloudy country. Yeah. You know, and there's vitamin D in milk. They add it to it as well. But you know, there's iron in, in animals' blood because that's where you're getting it from, actually. You know that the iron in meat comes from their blood. So you're supplementing yourself with the blood of an animal who's been killed. It's like vampire sort of diary <laughs> stuff, isn't it, really? Yeah. So yeah, if you've got something, a nutrient of concern, you can supplement it or find iron-rich foods and then rectify it. I mean, it's the least you can, it's really the least you can do. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, I'll do the I rest. I mean, right. I'll make documentaries, put them on Prime. Yeah. I'll, I'll go into the farms and investigate them, but yeah. the least you can do is not, <laughs> not make our job a lot harder. Yeah, I know. And I, I knew that coming in and speaking to you, like I knew that I knew what you were gonna say, you know. Because fish and eggs, who gives a shit about that? <laughs> Gross. Like, ew, yeah. a, smelly I, fish. Halfway through eating an egg, I'm like, wait. Mm. What is it? It's got that sulfur like kind of. They give me headaches. <laughs> an egg is weird. I like egg scrambled egg. tofu is so nice, and you can get that sulfur, you yeah. know, the black salt put on there. We have scrambled tofu every day. I don't ever miss an egg. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in an egg that I'm like, oh, gotta have that. If you have avocado and tofu on toast, I don't know. Like, what are you missing, really? Mm -hmm. How long were you vegan before you jumped off? Uh, it was kind of on and off for a while. Um, like, the longest kind of like stint of it was maybe like a year and a half. Yeah, you I stopped eating it. meat when I was like 14, and it's only been like the last like two years. You I've ever tried saying this to yourself? I'm a vegan. I'm against what happens to animals. Therefore, I don't support it. You ever try to say that to yourself and to other people? Yeah. You should say it. Okay. Because if you identify with the thing that you're against, when your old programming and your old cultural condition, because no one's going to, if you go right now, buy eggs, 
people aren't going to go, oh my God, I can't believe she bought the eggs. Yeah. Most people don't know, but you have the privilege to know actually. Yeah. So if you say, I'm a vegan, I'm, I'm against that, you're basically safeguarding yourself from falling back into, start identifying with the reasons that you, yeah. you're against it. It solidifies in yourself and you'll be a long-term kind of yeah. vegan. And then, because yeah. we actually don't just need vegans, we need people to help stop this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We need activists really, yeah. or advocates. Yeah. So I can give you these, you can give them out to your friends and family about watch ignorant. You already don't eat pigs, but it's a shame that the chickens and the fish always get the, the brunt end of the stick. The little fishies, they, they're getting tortured as well, the fish. They're not just getting killed. They suffer so badly. There's no slaughter guidelines like with cows. They've got to bolt them in the head first. There's nothing for fish. They just suffocate to death in agony. And I'd have to tell you that anyway, you know. Yeah, I do know. Thank yeah. you. Bless you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Honestly, you do really great work. Really, really great work. Do you ever want to do anything to make like a difference? Yeah. You ever wanted to make a difference in the world? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think you're capable of it? Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. I would like to. Yeah. You could be part of like a ch the movement that changes the fabric of reality. Like you could be part of that change, that historical movement that left commodifying animals in the past, along with like other injustices towards people. You know, they're, they're key moments in time. It's going to happen because we can't keep doing this forever. Like injustices don't tend to last forever. It usually finds that people start going, what the hell are we doing yeah. sooner or later? And it might be when there's a technical technological advance in like lab grown meat and you're like, but you could say, you know what? I, I gave it up before there was this yeah. technological advance. I actually chose to boycott it back then. You can tell your grandkids, I was part of that movement. Because mm -hmm. otherwise you're going to say, ah, oh, I just couldn't be bothered to eat some fish and eggs. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 Just trying to inspire you, really. Yeah, no, I, no, honestly, like, yeah, f it, yeah. This is for the documentary. Yeah. But you know how to be a vegan I, anyway. Yeah, I, I do. And tofu is your friend. Do you eat tofu? I do, yeah. It's full of calcium, iron, protein, satiating. It's got fat in there, versatile. Yeah. We love it. I'm yeah. a tofu ambassador. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sponsored by tofu, yeah. by big tofu, but I just, <laughs> I just a big tofu advocate. You know. Yeah. You can even make it look like fish. You can put some seaweed with it, make tofu, like, anyway. Yeah, okay, well, thank you. Yeah, can I get a picture? Yeah, of course. Oh my gosh. I can't, this is so random. Thank you. That's me, Katie. Good day. Take care. Hope you convert a bunch of people. And, and hope you do too. Today. You can be part of the change you want to see in the world. I will. Bless you. Just her seeing me made her go, <laughs> I didn't even have to say anything. Honestly, it was, I actually didn't have to say too much more than try to inspire her because she knew what the repercussions are for the animals to buy eggs and fish. She knew that she'd done something wrong. I don't even know how she determined she was iron deficient. Maybe she had a blood test, like she said. But I don't know why she thought eating fish and eggs would rectify that iron issue. Usually people would go for like a bloody flesh with more blood in it. Um, but yeah, I, I think she was honest, pleasant, good person who fell back into a habit. That's how, that was my impression of her. Cause she was like, I know, actually, you know what? Stop it. Which meant to me when she said that, she's gonna actually be a vegan. Again, maybe hopefully a philosophical vegan and not a plant-based dieter who's using the vegan term when veganism is like a, a moral principle, an ethical value that you have, which extends to the things you do. It's not a diet, which is an extension of the moral value, you know, the principle. Yeah, I see a lot of people who, you know, follow my stuff. They're not actually vegan. They just need to take the plunge. So 